So this is just a fun video, a video that I've been wanting to make for a while. This is my studio tour. I'm making this video for two reasons. One, I love watching other people's studio tours. Whenever one of my favorite YouTubers makes a video and shows off their studio and their equipment, I'm in. I love watching those videos. I like seeing what other people are using and how they're producing their videos. I just wanted to make it because I like that kind of stuff. The other reason is I'm about to overhaul this office studio that I'm in right now. I'm gonna do some new lighting, some new backgrounds, some new cameras. I'm about to really start upgrading some stuff and this is a fun way to document what I had before. So this is just a fun video. It's probably gonna be one of my least watched videos because it has nothing to do with AI. Sometimes I like to just make and edit videos for the enjoyment of making and editing videos. And this is one of those times. So let me show you around. I'll start by showing off my desk and what <laughs> my view is when I'm actually working. Look, you can see me there on the camera. Hello. So let me bring you down to my computer here, which is on the floor. I used to try to do cable management. You can see I actually put some racks. There was an attempt. This is my my computer here. It's got the NVIDIA 4080 in it, Intel i9. It's pretty much a beast. There's my subwoofer. And then coming back up here, I've got my two monitor setup. This is the two monitors that are hooked to the PC that I just showed you. I've got this Logitech mechanical keyboard here. I've got the 32 button stream deck, a Razer mouse. That's my DaVinci Resolve speed editor since I do most of my editing with DaVinci Resolve. And then the current camera that I'm using is a Sony a6400. When I do record my YouTube videos, this is what I'm recording on with my 16 to 50 f3.5 lens, but I'm about to actually swap out that lens tomorrow. I've got a couple cheap lights from Amazon. These are from a company called called GVM. And then those two pictures in the background are photos that I took. That one is from South Island of New Zealand. And this one is from one of the black sand beaches in Maui. My microphone here, this is a Elgato Wave 3 mic. It's a USB mic. I actually have a whole bunch of mics. I'll show you those in a minute. But this has been my favorite microphone for the most part, just because of the simplicity and ease of use. And yes, I've got a bunch of Rubik's cubes and a little infinity cube here, but I mostly use those as like fidget toys. So <laughs> if you see me on my computer and my hands are off screen, I'm probably fidgeting with one of these. I've got my Sony headphones hanging here. Here. This monitor up on the wall. This is actually just a TV. 99% of the time I just use it to watch Padre games on. Over here, these two monitors. This is a completely separate computer. This is a M1 Mac Mini that you can see back there. This also has two monitors hooked up to it. I don't use my Mac nearly as much as I use my PC, but I do have them both right next to each other so I can switch back and forth between PC and Mac at will. Now this thing here, I probably get asked about this in my comments more than any other thing that I've got. This is actually called a tidbit. It was given to me as a birthday gift. You can pretty much program it to do whatever you want it to do or say whatever you want it to say. And I absolutely love it. It makes for a great background. I have a whole bunch of little animations on it. It actually shows my YouTube view counts from time to time, my subscriber count from time to time, my Discord followers. So there's my entire desk setup. That's what it looks like when I've got the lights blasted in my face and I'm recording a video. The cable management definitely needs some work. Honestly, I kind of gave up on that a while ago. I just keep on getting new gadgets. And then I don't remember exactly what this chair is called. I just know it's made by Lazy Boy. I wanted one with a headrest and I actually put some extra padding on the armrest. That's actually memory foam paddings that I put on the armrest. Over here, I've got my Emerging Creator Award that was presented to me by TubeBuddy. It actually lights up, so I've got it plugged in here. Again, no thought about cable management whatsoever. It's just plugged in. This is my cables here. You can see I've got a box for video cables, audio cables, and various power cables down here. So I try to keep them as organized as possible. And if you're wondering my view out the window, well, it's really nothing. <laughs> I just have a fence and some trash cans. That's why I've got uh, these pictures so I can pretend I'm looking out the window at either Maui or New Zealand all the time. Over here, we got the guitar collection. This isn't actually even all my guitars. I've got another closet in another room that has some old guitars in it as well. This one here is a Schecter electric guitar. When I used to play in bands and stuff, that was my main guitar that I used on stage. This is an acoustic guitar that doesn't even have a brand name on it. I picked it up at a guitar store for a hundred bucks. It's a classical guitar that I just like the way it sounded. Down here we've got my ukulele. This was actually a birthday gift from my wife a few years back. It's really fun to play. 
It's a little out of tune. This is actually my son's learner guitar. It's actually only a three string guitar. I actually only have it hanging there because it's about the same size as the ukulele. Then down here, we've got my main acoustic guitar. This is the one I play most of the time. This is a Takamini electric acoustic, so I can actually plug it into an amp and play with it. I've got a banjo here that I've never actually learned how to play. It just looks cool and someday I'm gonna learn how to play it. And then back there, I've got a bass guitar. I think it's a Yamaha. And then I've got the dresser over here, which is the main thing my wife wants to replace because he doesn't think it looks very good, but it's functional. Up here, we've got my drone. It's a DJI Mini 3. I got my YouTube award up here that I got for getting to 100,000 subscribers. A little sign that my kids made for me on Father's Day, a couple hats. This year, the Aztecs went to the final four, my favorite NCAA team. So I have a couple hats that my father-in-law bought me when he actually went out to the final four game. Here, I've got a map of New Zealand and a map of Ireland, two of my favorite places I've gone on my travels. And we've got the MetaQuest Pro and then these drawers. This is actually where I keep all of my stuff hidden. I feel like I'm fairly organized though. This is my microphone drawer here. So all my audio equipment. You can see I've got a Go XLR here. This is to plug in XLR mics into the computer. I've got a handful of XLR mics. These are my Shure SM58s. These are what I use if I'm gonna be away from the house and I wanna record an interview or something. I've got the Rode Pod Mic. It's a pretty good mic. I used to use a Rodecaster Pro for our old podcast, which now my co-host of that podcast has it at his house. But these are the mics we used to plug into that. I've got a Hal PR40 mic here, which is actually a really, really good mic. I just don't really like dealing with all the hassle of XLR mics and the mixer. I've got a Zoom H5 recorder here. This is for recording on the go. And then I've got this adapter so I can actually hook extra XLRs up to this thing here. I've got a Rode shotgun mic that mounts to the top of a camera. So if I'm shooting on the road and I want to have a mic directly hooked up to the camera, I've got that thing. And then this is actually where I keep my Rode wireless go mics, which are actually the mics I'm using to record this. So if you see this, this is actually my Rode wireless go microphone and it hooks into this little Rode Wireless Go receiver here and it's feeding the audio on my computer right now. All right, and this one, this is like my other USB randomness. Who doesn't have a million little adapters to plug in all sorts of USB ports. Got an extra keyboard down here, all sorts of game controllers to hook up to my computer, a bunch of extra mice, a collection of webcams. I've got my Insta360 Link webcam here. This one is a Logitech C920, I believe. This one's a Logitech Rio. I've got the Stream Deck smaller version there as well. Some extra keycaps for my keyboard. I'm not a super keyboard nerd. I don't really swap out keycaps very much. And then I've got some extra smart plugs here. This drawer, what is this drawer? Oh, this is all my like PC parts here. So I got like my i9 box. I have an obsession with like never throwing away boxes for parts. You can see my i9 box. So we got my motherboard box, my DaVinci speed editor box, thermal compound, and then all of my manuals for various things I keep over here too. And what is this? Insta360 link box. For whatever reason, I, I don't like throwing away boxes when I get new toys. This one's kind of like an extra junk drawer right here. I got like monitor stands. This is like eye cover for my Oculus. I got an extra Quest cable that I've never unboxed. Down here, this is my charging drawer. You can see I have a whole bunch of charging ports, both USB, USB-C. Those are all my drone batteries. I've got this little Insta360 Go 3, which is a teeny tiny camera that's magnetic, so you can actually like stick it on anything and it's waterproof. It's a pretty cool camera, but I haven't used it a whole lot yet. Got a few, you know, battery banks that I use for when I'm at conferences or something. That's my drone controller. This is where I keep all my charging cables and batteries and stuff like that. All my cables are organized in those boxes. This is actually my Leia pad, which is pretty sweet. It's actually a 3D tablet. I wanna make a deeper dive video on this in the future. I actually interviewed one of the engineers that helped build this thing. So that's gonna be a cool interview when I finally release that. And then this drawer over here, finally, this is all of my camera stuff. I got a tripod here. I've got a little mini tripod slash selfie stick here from Insta360. I've got the world's longest selfie stick. This thing's like crazy long. It almost looks like you're shooting drone shots when you're using it. I've got a uh, more standard Insta360 selfie stick here. I've got this little thing that you can actually hook cameras to and then like wrap it around stuff. So you can wrap your camera around a pole and mount it to almost anything. This is actually the Insta360 bullet time mount. This thing spins and you can actually spin the camera around really fast and get kind of like a bullet time effect. Never actually tried it. This thing is the Switch Pod, which was actually created by my friend Pat Flynn. It's like a little selfie stick that you hold your camera out like this. And when you need to set your camera down, you can flip it out and it becomes a tripod real quick. Extra like mounts and stuff, that's to mount a camera and clamp it to like any sort of bar. 
This is my Insta360 X3 camera, which I use all of the time. In fact, some of the shots that you're seeing in this video were shot with my Insta360 X3. This thing goes everywhere with me. And then I have a whole bunch of little like mounts and stuff for my various Insta360 cameras in here. That's my dresser that you see behind me. It's just a whole bunch of gear and gadgets. Over here, more boxes. This is my MetaQuest Pro box. Again, haven't wanted to throw it away. I got my RTX 4080 box. These things here, these are like the equivalent of a junk drawer. It's just a whole bunch of random stuff. Camera flashes and headphone cables and splitters, more random stuff. This is actually another gimbal that I never ever use. Camera filters, just randomness. A lamp, yep, there's a lamp in there. There's my Augmented World Expo Media Pass, some Pepto-Bismol deodorant, an Apple mouse. This is where I actually keep all my cases. So this is like my drone case here. This is a camera case, more random stuff. A VHS tape from when I was in a band. Yes, I was in a band back when we recorded it on VHS tapes, random stuff. Moving over towards the bookshelf, I've got this little hook right when you walk in the door where I hang my sunglasses as soon as I walk in, I hang my car keys right there. This is actually like a thing that helps sort of stretch your neck and back. I saw it on an Ollie Abdal video and had to get myself one. Down on the floor there, you can actually see this thing. It actually pokes into a lot of my videos. So you can kind of see the edge of it right here, poking into a bunch of my videos. This is actually a retractable green screen. And then I've got my bookshelf here. Most of it is like marketing books, these kinds of books. Since I spent so many years doing digital marketing, this is the little controller here that controls these lights down here. So if I wanna go from blue to green, I could use this button. And like I mentioned before, lots and lots of boxes. I keep my modem and router up on top of the shelf here too. I actually have like a helium miner from back when I was doing more crypto stuff. Mac mini box, the Insta360 flow box, my DJI box, Sony headphones, ledgers. There's my drone own box. I literally don't throw any boxes away. I have a problem. If you're wondering what's in the filing cabinet, it's literally just files. It's where I keep all like my business files and stuff for taxes and whatnot. If you're curious what I looked like before I had a beard, here's a picture that I keep on my bookshelf with me and my wife. Got all my mid-journey magazines here. I've got every single one since the first issue, which so far has only been four. The other one's still on my desk here. I still kept this little postcard that two buddies sent me when they sent me this award for winning the Emerging Creator Award, so I still have that on my desk here. And more like fidget toys. And I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered the whole office and all of my gadgets and toys. I've got this remarkable tablet here, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I use it every single day to keep my task lists in here. You can actually see my to-do archive where I literally have like task lists going back months and months. I keep like a actual handwritten task list that I check off every day in here. I keep a journal, education notes, meeting notes, event notes, notes on YouTube. This thing is probably like my most used tool every single day without fail. I'm using this remarkable tablet. I love it. So there you have it. There's my office tour. I think I showed you everything. Showed you all my gadgets, all my mess, all of my uh, junk drawers, the whole shebang. Again, this is just a fun video. I wanted to show off my office before I completely tear everything down and start fresh. It's gonna get some new paint, gonna get a new background. I got some new camera equipment that I'm ordering. A lot of what I just showed you is gonna change and this is my way of documenting what I got so far. When I look at my office in the future, I can come back and check out this video. Again, this video is just fun. I just wanted to make this video more for me than anything else. And any of you curious voyeurs that are out there that really want to know what my setup looks like and what I'm working with and what kind of gear I have, well, now you have it. Now, please keep in mind, all of my gadgets, all of my gear, all of this stuff has been stuff that's been collected over the last 14 years. I've been sort of collecting tech for a long, long time. So that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm going to get back to making AI videos for my next videos. This one was just fun. Thanks for watching. Really, really appreciate you. It's going to be fun to see how this studio office evolves over time. All right, that's all I got for you. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.